many women feel less anxious, but a weak cervix, cervix can cause problems even in the second trimester. News 13's Jessica Foster tells us about a procedure to help these women have successful pregnancies. That's tonight's Modern Medicine Report. Cervical insufficiency can cause a baby to be born too soon, but a simple outpatient procedure can help these babies stay in the womb longer. She came out too early and she passed in my arms. After a heartbreaking loss, Samantha Phillips is now expecting her third child. Her first child was born suddenly due to Samantha's weak cervix. It's a problem she didn't know she had. And unfortunately, it's, it's kind of like a trapdoor cervix that the baby just comes out, most often alive and moving, but usually pre-viable that, uh, that is unsavable. It's just a horrible thing. Samantha's second child was born with no complications because of a procedure called a cerclage. Cerclage is a stitch that's used in pregnancy. Dr. Gregory Morrow says the cerclage looks like a shoelace, and it's inserted and knotted to reinforce the cervix. And I lasso that. It's done through the vagina under spinal anesthesia um, around the cervix. So what you end up with is that the cervix has is, is got a smooth piece of material around it with a knot at the 12 o'clock position. When Samantha found out she was pregnant with her third child, Dr. Morrow went ahead and inserted another cerclage. The ultrasound shows that everything looks normal now, and while we were there, Samantha found out she's having a boy. Aww. Congratulations. At 36 or 37 weeks, Dr. Morrow will take the cerclage out in preparation for the baby's delivery. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry. I know this baby's going to be okay. Um, I know where my other baby is. She's with the good Lord. But I know this one I'm going to get to hold. So. Dr. Morrow says it's important to let your doctor know about all of your past pregnancy complications so the proper precautions can be taken. The Healthy Start Coalition is hosting the annual Walk to Remember in honor of National Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. The walk will be on Saturday at 9 a.m. at Oaks by the Bay in St. Andrews. You can call 872-4130 for more information on the Walk to Remember event.